Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you to this uh, demonstration. Um, it's about the new currency currently um, coming more and more into public attention uh, about the Bitcoin as a virtual currency and uh, as an alternative um, comparing to our um, yeah, global currency system. So it's um, gaining more and more t attention. Uh, but today I want to show you uh, another reason why I developed the Winter Trade Cycles platform. So first of all, the Winter Trade Cycles platform is able to plot the Bitcoin charts. So what you see here is the daily chart of the Bitcoin rated in uh, US dollars. Um, so you can pull up a new chart just at the Bitcoin mtcox.us dollar um, valuation trading day and open this new chart and the chart will show up as you can see here so um, first of all this is a quite important feature of the winter trade cycles platform um, because most charting platforms are only available to connect to current market data feeds and current making data feeds only include um, data from our global currency system and not from virtual new systems. So Bitcoin is an interesting new market that will come to the surface now and when to trade is able to plot these charts. So that's the first important thing on it. The second thing I want to demonstrate today is that you know that the Winter Trade platform has all these cycle tools integrated. So let's see if the cycles tools will help us trading this new market here. So and to demonstrate you this we will just uh, look at the um, yeah, Bitcoin chart uh, prior to January of this year before the, the big push up was um, occurred. So this is just um, yeah, I think seven months charts uh, beginning in April 2012 up to uh, yeah, February 2013 where the price of the Bitcoin was moving from around uh, 5 US dollars up to 15 US dollars. Um, this move here and let's see if the cycle tools would have helped us in detecting the main moves. So um, to test this we will adjust the cycle swing indicator uh, which is one of my favorite tools. So what you see here now um, is a cycle swing indicator um, plotted yeah, for the um, for the Bitcoin. And what you now can see is we spot the most important turning points based on the cycle swing index where it was crossing from the above the upper band just here. So this is a classic uh, sell signal here. So in here we have the break up below the lower band. So this is a classic buy here. I will just mark the situations on the chart here uh, where the trading signals from the um, yeah the uh, cycle swing uh, would have been. So this would be the buy here, here, and then the next sell here. Um, this situation exactly here and went down until this point here where we touched the lower band was exactly this point here. So this was the buy signal here exactly at this point. So then we moved up here and then the next sell signal occurred here. Yips. And moved down into this period here and there was the next star uh, buy signal here. So this would have been the trading signals for the last yeah or eight months uh trading the Bitcoin exchange rate to the US dollar. So as you can see are uh, the moves in these virtual new global currency um, yeah, have been detected by the cycle swing indicator um, quite nicely. I will just mark it on the chart uh, to highlight the turns. Okay, so uh, what I want to show you here is uh, that even it's a complete new market with a complete new currency uh, which complete new rules of trading um, our cycle indicator has been able uh, to spot all big moves 
yeah in this uh, in this uh, new currency here and in addition what you see here this market moves quite nicely in relation to cycles so it's quite smooth movement between these up and downs here as shown now by the indicator here um, so I would expect this because the new market this market is quite emotional and you know my favorite indicators work with sentiment cycles and the emotional markets work quite nicely in regards to uh, cycles so this is this is a quite new feature which is uh, not available in any other charting platform so first of all chart the Bitcoin pricing and the second thing is apply the cycle tools which you see here is a quite nice addition to trade this new market um, the second feature I want to show you because this is quite the public discussion which is going on um, you know that during the last two months uh, the price skyrocketed uh, for the Bitcoin network. I think this is mainly related to the mistrust in our global government and um, global currency system to the current financial crisis. So the question is would have been the cycle tools been able to detect this big upward push here? So I want to review this question if our cycle tools would have been yeah, forecasted this big up move in the Bitcoin network. To do this, uh, let's move just prior to the situation. Let's move somewhere into November, where we had the sideways move here for two to three months. So I think in November 2012, nobody was aware where the Bitcoin network uh, would move up or down here. Um, so we will move back in history with the replay mode and just check. Um, yeah, let's let's go somewhere in the middle of November um, and start our analysis here. So that was that was this would have been the situation uh, in the mid of November. And the question now is, um, if the cycle tools would have been able, um, yeah, to detect um, the big up move we have seen now in 2013. And to do this analysis. We will now use the second feature of the Cycles toolset called the Dynamic Cycle Explorer. I will just use the standard settings, the long-term preset here as we are looking for long-term cycles and I will change nothing. Uh, just press OK and align this Dynamic Cycle Explorer to the main top here which occurred in June 2011. So what you see now here on the chart is then automatically detected dominant cycle for this index here. So um, this is the blue blueprint here is the dominant cycle which was detected automatically by these uh, cycles toolset here and what you can see is um, that this cycle now spotted the main dominant cycle which is uh, active in the um, yeah Bitcoin exchange rate here um so see it here yeah, moving up here so and um, you can see that we are now from from September 2012 we are now in a, in a downward projection here into the uh, beginning of 2013 so this would be somehow our expected um situation here and the next forecast of this dominant cycle is that we see the next bottoming period or uh, the big um, upward or the next upward cycle beginning in the uh, beginning of um, 2013 so in January 2013 we would expect the buy signal and the next upward push uh, for the Bitcoin network here so now let's move forward in time um, and as we see, uh, price just moved um, exactly here uh, into this situation, and John had had a big up move here, which you can see here now. So um, the interesting point is uh, what I want to show you here. Um, yeah, that uh, this projection was exactly on time um, in regards to the big upward push here. So uh, 
what, what, what you have seen here by this projection is that the projection was done in November 2012 and it projected this ma major low here um, in, in January. So the complete upward push um, was forecasted by our dominant cycles here. So this was the projection done in November 2012. We can just, just repeat it. Uh, we will just go back into November somewhere here. So um, we just applied the Dynamic Cycle Explorer. So it's a dynamic thing so this will update. Um, and you can see here it spotted this major bottoming situation here for the dominant cycle in the middle of January and projected the upward push for this cycle here in the beginning of January which will run into April which we are currently in. So this up move here uh, yeah, which was spotted by the dominant cycles as you can see here so this was the projection for a low in November 2012 so and um, um, you know uh, how price moved. So if you just see to the up to the current day from this point in time where the low projection was you see how the price skyrocketed here. So this is just the second example that uh, not only the cycle tools guide you through the daily swings of this new currency here uh, the dynamic cycles are also able to spot the important moves from a long-term perspective here. So, and this is a short update regarding when to trade cycles and using new markets. And this is a quite interesting combination of a new charting platform, new cycle analysis applied to new markets. Thank you for listening. Bye.